a little follow-up video on some of the products that I had gotten at uh, Walgreens the day before yesterday. And I did a quick little video about different things that I got that were on clearance and that were um, very inexpensive and things like that. I'm going to give you a quick rundown of um, the ones that I've used and what I think of them so far. They are also available at other stores. I think the Jordana eyeliner might be the only one that I've ever seen really at only Walgreens as far as I know. I know you can also order that online. Um, and I'll put a link to that in the bottom bar so that you can look that up if you like, if you don't have a Walgreens. Anyways, I'll jump right into it uh, for time's sake. And the first one that I was talking about day before yesterday was the Eggplant Jordana eyeliner and it's uh, retractable, you know, like that. It's like a crayon, so it goes on nice and soft and smooth. And that's that bottom color there. I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's a nice rich eggplant color. And I wore that yesterday and it worked really well. Stayed on, no transferring to my eyelid, um, smudging, none of that stuff. So I like that a lot. And then the next one was this um, Wet n Wild White liner pencil. And I have that in my waterline today. You probably can't tell on the camera. Um, but it went on just fine, no problems, and it's been on for a while now, and um, we're good. So, I like that. Um, and then the next one, it was the Mega Last Wet n Wild Lip Colors, and I'm wearing this color today. Um, not sure if you can see the color really well, but it's a nice, like, a wine color. I had at first thought it was a mauve color, but when it goes on, it goes on that color. It's not any lighter than that. <laughs> Um, but it stays on really well. It just kind of wears off on the inside here, but then the other um, long-wearing lip colors that I've worn, like L'Oreal Infallible, um, they pretty much do the same thing. And I also wanted to mention that the Infallible, I have one of those, and it tends to kind of ball up on my lips, and I don't like that at all, uh, but these don't do that. And then here's the red color. That's that third color there, and I wore that yesterday. And it turned out really nice. I liked it a lot. It does wear off a little quicker than this one, but when it wears off, it's more of like a lip stain, so it still looks good. It doesn't look like half of it's missing. You know how red lipstick does. And it didn't bleed um, or anything like that. And then the next one was the Berry Lip Liner. That was also a Wet n Wild. I don't know if you can see that or not. I think I have something on my hand. Um, anyways, and that's just above the red lip color there. Um, I wore that at some point yesterday. I can't remember what it was. I was just trying to try them all out so I could tell you about them. And again, it went on really easy. It went on creamy. It looks like a hard pencil, but it's not. Um, 99 cents. Can't beat it. Stayed on really well. No bleeding. The other one was the L'Oreal Curl. Hold on, sorry. <laughs> it's not actually on my tube for some reason, so I saved the package. It's the Panoramic Curl. L'Oreal uh, mascara, and I'm wearing it now. Um, you can't see it, I'm sure. <laughs> I look a little crazy for you for a second, but anyways, it stays on really well. Um, it doesn't flake. I hate flaky gets in your eyes. Um, it actually holds the curl. Like my eyelashes usually by now are drooping back down in my eyes because I have very straight hair and very straight lashes, and it doesn't do that. So I like that a lot. Um, the formula is really nice. It's not a big, thick, gloopy, you know, it doesn't uh, cake on your eye, you know, how you get clumps and whatever when you're trying to build it to make it a volume, like a volumizing type mascara. It does that as well, so it's buildable. Um, it separates, the brush separates the lashes very well. Um, let's see, is there anything else I should tell you about it? If there's anything else you want to know, just leave me a comment in the bottom bar and I'll answer that for you. But as far as I'm concerned, I really like it. Um, I'm a lover of the L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara. So if you don't like that one, you may not like this one. Um, but I like it. And the last one that I have here that I had talked about in the other video was the two different colors of Wet n Wild eyeshadow that they're selling for Halloween. Um, it's a Fantasy Makers. I don't know if you can see this or not, but that's the container there. Anyways, um, those two shadows are at the top there. And I have them on an Urban Decay Primer Potion, a base, and the color of the Primer Potion is in Sin, so you may be able to see that up here. But this is the black, and the one above it, right above it, is the white. And the white, I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's pretty pearly. It's very um, pearlized and shimmery. And the black has a little bit of sparkle to it, but not a lot. 
The black, what I can say for it is it's pretty sheer. It doesn't go on very dark. So if you're looking for more of like a sheer black and you're not really trying to darken anything up real dark, you know, um, I wouldn't use that, but it does fine for what I'm using it for. Um, so again, it's, it was just a, an inexpensive addition to my already growing <laughs> makeup collection. The next two things I wanted to talk about was uh, were two things that I got yesterday at Sephora. And this one is a Stila eyeshadow palette and it has a cream um, cheek and lip color in there. You can use that on either one. It's uh, convertible. And then the four eyeshadows. Um, this was ten dollars and I really thought that was a pretty good deal for uh, a Stila, you know, a little palette like that. And it's called Make an Impression in Moscow. And the colors are, let's see if I can see that it's very small. The blue color is called Chill and the one right next to it is, sorry, can't see it, Matryoshka. It must be like a type of Russian word. <laughs> and the other peachy corally color there is called Nadia. And the brownish color there is called Mink. And I don't know if you can see it or not. I'll try to get up a little closer for you. Um, I have those colors on today. I have the Mink and I have on Nadia, which is that darker color there. Uh, I didn't use the cheek color because I already had done something with my cheeks today, but I like them. They go on very smoothly. Um, they're very highly pigmented. I'll try to swatch those for you on my finger so you can see. That's Chill. That's Mink. I don't know if you guys can see those or not. I'll try doing that see if it'll focus a little better. Um, that on my pinky there is Nadia. And then I'll do that fourth one, that lighter color, Matryoshka on my first finger, you're probably not going to be able to see it because it's pretty much the same color as my skin, um, but it's got a little bit of a shimmer to it. Now the 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 first one there, that skin color, um, has just a little bit of shimmer to it, but not much. It's pretty much a matte color, and the others are definitely shimmers. They have a uh, sparkle in them. Not big, huge, like high school glitter, but they have a little bit of uh, like reflex in them. So I really like those. Went on very smoothly. Um, the colors are true to what they are in the palette. So I like that. And then the last thing I got was this called uh, Makeup Forever Mist and Fix. I'm not sure you can see that. This is a setting spray. I'm not sure, don't know if you're familiar with um, Fix Plus from MAC. It's basically the same thing. And I have not used it until today, so I can't really tell you exactly how well it's